hear me everyone you have lost favor with lost touch with in this place tonight by the mercy of God I command restoration I command reconnection I command restoration I command reconnection in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now I want to pray specifically for those who are in any kind of financial trouble I've owed people before I know what it means the the the, the pain only God can explain what it takes to not be able to have a sound sleep because there are bills you are owing whether institutionally whether corporately whether personally none of them is profitable I pray for you the same grace that brought the axe head from the waters in the name of Jesus every financial situation you have gotten into that is leaving you now with shame and embarrassment by the power that raised Christ from the dead before the end of 2023 come out of that situation come out of that situation by the ministry of men come out of that situation by the ministry of favor come out of that situation by the ministry of wisdom come out of that situation by the ministry of mercy come out of that situation in the name of Jesus Christ for those who have lost time delay has happened in your life and the truth is that time has gone even if the constraints were taken away from your life it will take grace for you to catch up I pray for you there is speed and there is restoration these are the two mysteries that help men to redeem time the Bible says redeeming the time because the days are evil and there are two spiritual forces allocated for time redemption one is called speed another is called restoration when God wants to help you you will experience both restoration brings yesterday into tomorrow speed moves you further into your tomorrow I pray for you by the force of speed and the force of restoration may time be redeemed now may time be recovered now by the forces of speed and the forces of restoration may time be redeemed now Grace that brings life to your dreams and your visions from this night may that grace rest upon you now restoration of dreams restoration of prophetic dreams restoration of visions in the name of Jesus Christ number two I want to pray for you your imagination your creativity after the order of Bezalel after the order of Uzziah in the name of Jesus extraordinary ideas extraordinary concepts begin to see them now begin to see them now the ideas connected to your wealth begin to see them now are we together and the accelerator helps you to catch up and sometimes so that you are able to beat time lord accelerate my life that is the prayer you are going to pray many of us you are not experiencing stagnation but you are too slow everything about your life is too slow lift your voice and cry to the god of heaven accelerate my life make sure you pray with understanding i can't waste my destiny accelerate my life oh god accelerate my life bring establishment to my life bring stability to my life accelerate my life accelerate my life accelerate my life accelerate my life, accelerate my life.
accelerate my life. Koinonia, you are praying. Accelerate my life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The prophetic controls restoration. The prophetic controls redemption. The prophetic controls deliverance. When it is administered within the boundary of scripture, it works wonders. There are some of you, you have cried unto the Lord in secret, but this deliverance will not come through your own prayers. No, but I know that this shall turn to my salvation through your prayer in partnership with the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ. In one minute, right where you are, I'd like you to begin to pray. Thou son of David, have mercy upon me. Thou son of David, have mercy upon me. Is a businessman praying. Is a man of God who has lost his glory, lost the grace and the favor Parash kateba la kasieta, egra kateba 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 rakatos, skata bragata bela kata bras kata bela kata bakata. And I know that this shall turn for my salvation through your prayer. And I know that this shall turn for my salvation through your prayer. And the supply of the Spirit of Christ Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Let the doors open again, oh God. Let the favor come again. Let my honor return again. Let my hair grow back again. Let shame and reproach leave my destiny. Let the statement Ichabod give way. Go ahead and pray. Please, Koinonia, pray. Where is that grace that was once upon me? that I never had to beg for jobs. Let it return, oh God. Restore, 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 redeem, deliver. Deliver by the Spirit. The Lord, every trouble you have entered because of spiritual blindness, every mistake you have made, some of you are in financial troubles now because of the bankruptcy of sight. Some of you may be in marital crisis right now some of you may be in ministerial troubles right now in the name of jesus i invoke the mercy of god come out of that situation now come out of that situation now i'm hearing this in my spirit that those who are trusting god to open career doors Right now, I stretch my hands. Let the breath of the Spirit rest upon you at the count of three. Father, where are they? Men and women who must testify of your mighty hand. May that grace rest upon you now. 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 Can you pray in one minute? Father, restore the healing mantle back to the church. Please pray. Restore the healing mantle. Let somebody carry this grace again. Koinonia, pray. Let's pray on behalf of this ministry. Let's pray on behalf of the body of Christ. The end time church must be the church that presents the God that heals. A healing Jesus. Genuine healings, notable healings. Please pray.
Hallelujah. And hear me. Every human agent who needs to partner with the Spirit of God to make for answers to this request in the name that is above all names, wherever they are, by the power of the prophetic, we call them to your life now. I call them to your life now. Therefore, I stand upon this request and I declare, these Egyptians that you see today, may you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus. There are many of you at this point in your Christian experience. You are in desperate need of the revelatory gifts of the Spirit to be activated. The word of knowledge, the word of wisdom, the gift of prophecy. I decree and declare anyone here who is desperate for these gifts of the Spirit and it has not rested upon you or it has rested upon you at a level that can no longer host the burden and the responsibilities upon you I stretch my hands receive a fresh impartation now a fresh impartation now A fresh impartation now that stops you from being close that stops you from being mediocre and dejected once again and for some in higher proportions let it land upon your destiny now let it rest upon your destiny now upon your ministry now upon your career now upon your children upon your spouse in the name of jesus that you will arise in power that you will arise in glory that you will arise as a mighty warrior that you are and breathe upon this request breathe upon this request in the name of jesus breathe upon this request in the name of jesus Breathe upon this request in the name of Jesus. Breathe upon this request in the name of Jesus. But everything that has been written here by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let it be turned into a testimony. Turned into a testimony. Turned into a testimony turned into a testimony for some of you it arrives Monday for some Tuesday for some tonight in the name of Jesus Christ speed to answers by the Spirit of the Living God speed to answers by the Spirit of the Living God speed to answers by the Spirit of the Living God Prayer is not a waste. The fasting is not a waste. In the name of Jesus, I'm saying again, every spirit that has become a stumbling block upon your life and your destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead, be separated from that spirit now. Listen, anything that has taken away your glory, any demonic thing that is bringing you to a point of shame, I call upon my God who is also your God. He must give way, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hallelujah. Please sit down. With all due respect, there are people today perhaps they would have been appointed in certain great positions around the world. But just before the appointments get there, there were some Ahitophels who reached before them and said, do you know what? Don't lift this woman. Don't lift this man. And they have remained so. I made up my mind that that story once great will never be used in my life. No, that story once anointed, once impactful. But to, to keep that testimony, it takes more than a heart of integrity. You must know what to do with Satan. Hallelujah.
You must know what to do with Satan. I once prayed for a lady, true story. This lady met me and she said, Apostle, you must pray for me. I think I'm possessed. I said, how do you just come and say you are possessed? She said, I don't understand. Everybody keeps having dreams that I'm either pursuing them or killing them. It's my face they keep seeing. More than, according to her, over 10 people in the church. And then, of course, they will share with the church leaders. And everybody just told them, avoid this lady. And some already had called her a witch. A faithful worker in the church. And she noticed that her leaders, true story, the leaders who avoid her, everybody who avoid her, because they go to bed and they see her face. I can tell you, that is a satanic manipulation because her destiny is around that vicinity and Satan may know that in her rising, maybe the rising of her family members, Satan is very calculative. He makes sure that what he attacks must create a ripple effect. Who can I touch in this family that will affect the 20 other people? Oh, you are the one. Then he comes. Kidney problems be healed. Liver problems be healed. Heart conditions be healed. Children with autism be healed. Migraine headaches be healed. Cataracts be healed. Glaucoma be healed. Colon cancer be healed. Prostrate cancer be healed. Lung cancer be healed. Bone conditions be healed. Joint problems be healed. You are here and your SS genotype, we change it now in the name of Jesus. greatness and comfort me on every side now let me declare it over you that may my God increase your greatness may my God increase your greatness may my God increase your greatness hallelujah so don't be surprised when you hear in koinonia ordinary people being elevated is the God that makes great I was so touched by the testimony of that gentleman. A young man coming and trekking and moving around. And today God has honored him. Don't tell me it does not matter. He said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good deeds. I'm praying the next testifier, I, I release you in the name of Jesus into your testimony. The next testifier, I release you into your testimony. Call on to me and I will answer. I'd like you to pray in one minute and cry. Say, Father, show me. Show me great and mighty things. Show me the things I need to be positioned over in this season. Show me things that I need to come into alignment with in this season. Someone is praying. Hallelujah. Finally, every point of contact you came with, I see people lifting materials, lifting passports for others, lifting photos of loved ones. I see people lifting medical bills or medical reports. I see people lifting all kinds of things, provided your faith has agreed that that material is a point of contact. I stand and I call upon the God who has sent us, who has anointed us and distinguished us by his grace in the name of Jesus let every point of contact you have lifted whatever needs to happen to that point of contact to make you laugh I decree and declare may it happen this week may it happen not next week may it happen this week 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 in the name of Jesus Christ 
Alabra de Gavereka Toska Praga Paratusia Krate Begaretusiata in the name of Jesus what you have never seen in scripture I open your eyes to begin to see it I open the eyes of your understanding unusual insights into scripture receive it in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Now hear me. I'm not wasting your time. When the Lord puts a burden in my heart like this, it is because He's keeping you and protecting you and opening your eyes to see certain things. For some of you, you have lacked discernment. For some of you, it is carelessness. For some of you, it is, what's the third one? Ignorance. For some of you, abuse. But for some, you've done everything right. Satan has just decided to test God's integrity in your life. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Doors close. Help us go away. Jobs, whatever it is. People who used to like you and want to help you, they see you and they say you are such a nice person. You have a great heart. Let me see how I can help you. Let me see how I can help your family. How about those who even go through the interview for the jobs? They've called your name. They've told you everything. They said, all right, you'll hear from us in two weeks. Two weeks have become two years. In destiny, your portion does not come to you. You force it to come. Did you hear what I said? He said, right from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom suffered violent. And ladies and gentlemen, the spiritually violent will take it by force. Ministry will not rise till you force it to rise. Your finances will not rise. It will go up and down. He says, strong men retain wealth. You need to know how to command your portion. Your wealth is not everywhere. Don't make a mistake of just copying and joining the bandwagon. You will get into trouble until you deplete yourself. Just because he's working for others does not mean it will work for you. You have to see what the Lord is saying concerning you. I'm about to pray for you. Some of you will see it in dreams. Some of you will see it in visions. Some of you will have prophetic confirmations. But I stand by prophecy. Wherever your financial resources will come from, I gravitate you towards that area. I gravitate you towards that area. I gravitate you towards that area. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone here who is under any curse, any diabolic manifestation, the scourging tongues of men, according to Job chapter 5, one of the six things that he says God would deliver us from. Anyone who is a victim of that, I pray for you here at Koinonia, in the name of Jesus, be delivered from any and all evil. Be delivered from any and all evil. Now hear me. Some of you perhaps, what you are going through is because of the pain that you cause for others. Maybe in your time of ignorance and you cause pain for maybe your parents or you cause pain for a man of God and in their pain or some woman, some intercessor and some of them in their pain, they hit their chest and made declarations to the heaven that you will not prosper. Some of them have died today. Some of them have gone away. You need help. I stand by the advantage of priesthood. Everybody who has spoken negatively, maybe your biological parents, maybe a man of God you ignored, maybe somebody that you caused pain in their life, in their family. I call upon the God of all grace and mercy this night. Let that curse come to an end over your life. Let that curse come to an end over your life. Where they said you will die, I prophesy, leave. 
Where they said you will fail, I prophesy, go and excel. Where they said your children would do the same negative thing, I midwife by prophecy, may your children be Beulah and Hephzibah. In the name of Jesus Christ, that out of their pain, they said it will never be well with you. I call upon the God of mercy, because today you are the righteous. I say to you, it shall be well. Now, thanks be to God, which causes us always to triumph. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. It says, and I know that this shall turn for my salvation. Now, give us that scripture. And let me show you the keys. Notice. He never said this shall turn to my salvation through my prayer. There are times the one in the tragedy you may not have the power to save yourself. He says it shall turn to my salvation through the prayer of another. Through your prayer. Your prayer. Your prayer. Over me. Your speaking. Over me. The prophetic that you bring. Over me. I know this shall turn. I have prayed it did not turn. But there is a system God designed in the kingdom where tragedies and calamities and losses and pain are able to be turned to your salvation through your prayer. Watch this. Let me give you... Let's do three keys. One, the first key when you want total deliverance from calamities is self-examination write it down self-examination self-examination Luke chapter 15 from verse 17 to 20 popular story that I've shared here many times my Bible says when he the he being the prodigal son remember the story of the prodigal son that guy went and wasted his life in riotous livings the Bible said so from friends to all kinds of people he depleted himself until he was feeding with swine and then the Bible says through the power of self-examination when he came to himself men can come to themselves it is within the power of men to come to themselves you know what it means to come to yourself why is my life like this the day you are ready to sit down and ask honest questions no matter how ego stinging those questions are you are already on the path to deliverance are we together the prodigal son's father never came and met him in his mess there was a part that the gentleman had to do and play by himself. Many people do not come out of tragedy because they have not been able to sit down and ask honest questions. And Lord, we pray right now by the power of the Holy Spirit and ministering to your people and to the nations, many who are trusting God for all kinds of miracles in their bodies many of them holding death sentences this moment as medical reports many of them like the woman with the issue of blood they have spent their earnings they have spent their means of livelihood they have lost jobs because of ill health they've had many parts of their bodies deadened and weakened i'm praying right now oh god that you honor every word that comes from the lips of your servant therefore i pray every spirit my God, that is the, at the back of any disease, any infirmity, any health or mental distress, I command that spirit to give way now. I command that spirit to give way now. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, right now be healed. I stretch my hands. And I decree and declare, your internal organs be healed now. Your heart be healed now. Brain tumors disappear now. If that is inconsistent with your blueprint, someone pray, let it change. Everything that is not you, pray in your life your marriage, your ministry, the life of your children, your career, it must change tonight. 
if water turned to wine pain can be turned to joy if water turned to wine defeat can be turned to victory hallelujah hallelujah all of these things that i mentioned you are not having it work in your life i agree with you by faith and we stand together as a noble family of faith i declare may this grace rest on your life may this grace rest on your life hallelujah when sarah bore isaac she named him laughter and she said that god has made me to laugh and all who hear me will laugh with me i decree and declare by this prophetic word let crying mourning weeping come to an end because the bible says weeping may endure for the night but it says joy comes with the morning and the bible says he called the light day and the darkness he called night that means when light comes it is your day now that light has come i command the night to cease in the mighty name of jesus we pray in the mighty name of jesus we pray please give let me give you a disclaimer many of you will go to sleep and you will wake up from this encounter with many visions listen never execute anything you see until you verify it with the word i need to give you this disclaimer no matter how accurate what you have seen is when you get up do not execute until you can support that vision with scripture and where possible seek godly counsel i'm saying this to you because there are many people an impartation like this is very risky because when your eyes are open you will see all kinds of things and satan can appear as an angel of light are we together yeah. the devil can appear as an angel of light and want to manipulate the sincerity of your passion to see and you may see things or god can give you correct visions and here comes satan with wrong interpretations of it and you will carry a wrong interpretation and connect it to a correct vision shout it say father in the name of jesus i decree and declare let the book of remembrance be open concerning me go ahead and pray you're not wasting your time you're programming realities in the spirit through prayer Let the book of remembrance be open. Outside, pray. All the overflows, pray. Connecting online, pray. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Rakata Vareta Bekati Palatusiata.